Hi, darlings. This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be for the week of the 12th to the 18th of March. I will be using my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, I will be using Learning Tarot Cards. Well, of course, let's see what messages we have for you. So Aquarius, this is for you. The Three of Cups, love, celebration, the lovers, mm. the Queen of Swords, this is the air energy. This could be you, Aquarius, or this could be a Gemini, but since we're doing Aquarius, we're going to say this is Aquarius, and you're thinking about the past. The star card, beautiful omen, keep the faith. The ten of um, cups, abundance. The devil, something unhealthy in your environment. It could be sadness, obsession, jealousy. It could be an addiction. It's something that has you like really tied. It could be an unhealthy relationship. Um, it could be so many things, um, but we'll keep going. This thing has you at a standstill right now, the hanged man. The queen of wands. This might be a fire energy within your environment, which could be a Leo, uh, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. And the princess of swords. Communication, clarity. Let's see. So let's do the Three of Cups. top of the three of cups i got the eight of wands something coming very fast or action is needed and then i have the king of wands this is a fire energy this is a leo an aries or a sagittarius this is someone who's in charge they, they like being in charge they're, they're pretty loyal um or you might be coming into some unexpected income So the Eight of Wands and the King of Wands, the Lovers, or is this your lover? Or is that love coming fast? Ooh, here come the Queen of Wands again. Mm, on top of the Lovers, the Fire Energy, something to do with fire and you and love. A Leo, a Gemini, I'm sorry, a Leo, an Aries. I'm looking at the, the Queen of Swords here. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You need to use your intuition. This person is, um, they're in touch with both their masculine and feminine side. So, I mean, 
they might be a good communicator for you. Use your intuition though, okay? Whatever it is that you do. Queen of Swords. Use your intuition, okay? And then after that came the Empress. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. This is a lot of energy here. So with the Empress, it could be pregnancy, it could be abundance, and then the Queen of Pentacles could stand for money. Maybe you're thinking about a business, um, a business opportunity or something. I mean, and it hasn't gone into motion as yet, but you're thinking about it, or it could be a Virgo, <laughs> a Taurus, or a Capricorn in your environment. This is the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. But I say abundance, something to do with money coming to you. Star card, you need to keep the faith. It's a good omen. You never know. And you see, whatever it is that you planted is growing. Seven of pent Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I think some finances are coming to you. Whichever way it resonates with you, okay? The Ten of Cups is going to be abundant. It's going to be abundant. You might go and travel. And move ahead with your plans. You've been longing for it. I got the Three of Wands and I got the Hermit. You're going to go within and you're going to soul search. You're going to do some self-evaluation and look within yourself. Because of the devil, whatever negative vibe this here is for you, you know about it. And maybe this extra money might give you feelings to go towards that bad thing for you. On top of that comes the Knight of Wands. Don't be hasty. Okay, think about it. Don't make quick decisions. But this feeling is going to come very fast. And also with this, it's going to come, you're going to have a towel moment. The card says, I surrender to the storm. <clears throat> Sometimes to rebuild something or to make something stronger, you have to break it down. And it causes a lot of chaos and confusion to make it stronger, okay? So even if there's chaos and confusion and you feel like everything is just falling down on top of you, just wait for a moment. Don't stay there too long. Bring yourself back up, all right? You're going to have to do some meditation and you're going to have to rest. You got a lot of fear and anxiety because of whatever is going to happen or whatever happened here. And you're going to be at a standstill again. You are definitely going to be at a standstill. You're going to be feeling trapped. This card says, it's time for a sacred pause. Stillness grants perspective. <clears throat> you lack direction right now. And it could be because of this fire energy. Or maybe the fire energy caused the upset. Or the fire energy is going to bring you some happiness. I got the Ten of Cups and I got the Moon. You're not seeing things clearly, okay? Or you might be seeing through things. But something tells me you're not seeing things clearly. You need to trust your intuition, okay? And on top of the, the clarity that you're going to get is going to come from the past. Something from the past is going to come back. 
And it's going to be a responsibility for you. You're going to feel overloaded. You're going to have a weight on your shoulders. And it might bring a broken heart. I wanted to pull another card just to see if it would, you know, balance you out a little bit more. Um, little chaos and confusion. Financially, you're going to be fine. But emotionally, heart-wise, you might have a broken, not might, it seems like you will have, you know, a little upset with your heart. But then there's marriage, a possibility of marriage and stuff, you know? Happiness. Ten of Cups. You know? But there's something you're not seeing clearly. Or maybe you are seeing everything clearly. You're seeing through what people are trying to hide from you. Is this a secret? This marriage? <laughs> but if it was, there wouldn't be no broken heart here. Unless you think there's not going to be. I don't know. It's up to you. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And I will see you soon. Bye.